My name is Julia Bornakis Harper. I'm making a short documentary about uh, my family's farm, the Bornakis Harper Ranch in Auburn, California. Uh, we've been there 100 years this year. I was born in Auburn. I grew up on the farm and uh, traveled around, moved around, and kept coming back. So now I live there. Uh, it's home, number one, and and the the. I'm the fourth generation to, to live there. My mom and my uncle grew up there. My grandfather grew up there. So it really is kind of part of our, our heritage and it's a, a, a very deeply rooted home place. Um, it's an unusual thing, especially in Auburn, which used to be a, a tiny farming town and is now a suburban community. So we're this little, it used to be 100 plus acres. Now it's a 15 acre ranch, but that still is the only farm in the city of Auburn, so we're surrounded by subdivisions and highways, but we've managed to keep this little piece of the historic past alive, and now that people are, are more interested again in local food and, and supporting local farms, that's really kind of a, a rare and precious thing, and we're, we feel like we're, we're the stewards of that place and that it's something we want to share with our community. So doing that for 100 years, watching how things change, but some things have stayed the same. My grandfather was in San Francisco. He ran a restaurant there, but when he was finally able to send back for his wife-to-be to come over, um, he decided that San Francisco was no place for a woman in those days. <laughs> it was <laughs> too dangerous, too, too wild. So um, somehow he, he found this little piece of property up in, the, up in the foothills, and we're still trying to piece together the story of exactly how all that came to be. It's interesting in that there, there's a lot that we don't know just about the history of the farm, what was there beforehand. It was some kind of a homestead, but um, I think something surprising has been just how many pieces of history aren't recorded. And so we have our family stories and then the, the, the bits of research that we can do. So putting all that together um, has been very moving at times. I think just you know realizing what these people went through to, to build a better life for themselves and their family, and ultimately it's the reason that, that we live there and that we still live there.